Hi, welcome to my channel with me, Emily D, and I'm so happy you're here. So today I'm in a collab with Miss Lori Latimer, and we decided to use this Nomad Verona. It says Amor y Muerte. So we will be going in with the dark side, so that is the Muerte side. These are the colors inside this palette. It is very pretty. There's blue and purple. There is a pop of green up in the top. So I have done one eye off film and I'm ready to do the other eye with you all. So I'm going to start with a shade called Tomb. And Tomb is this very light gray shade up here in the top. So that is going to go all above my crease. And here is the mirror on this side. So to look in the mirror real fast. That is going to go all above the crease. And the next shade is going to be Dagger. Dagger is kind of like a light purple shade. Dagger is this shade right here in the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with that. That's gonna go into my crease. So let me stand this up like this so it'll be easier for me to see. That's just gonna be buffed up with the gray Try to give it a good transition shade. This palette is very beautiful. I've gone in with the love side on film at least twice, two or three times maybe. And I really do enjoy this palette. The pigment is there. It is very pretty. Okay, so there is that shade all buffed into the crease and up with that gray shade called Tomb. The first brush I used for Tomb was a fluffy brush, and this one is the Morphe V204. And that just went all above my crease up here. And this one that I'm using for Dagger, which is a light purple, is the Morphe V205. So that is going into the crease. And it is more oval shaped, but it is dense to pack in the color. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a Morphe V206. And this one is a little more round. It is still kind of oval shaped, but I'm gonna go into the color called Dark. And Dark is this deep purple right here. And that is gonna go on the outer part of my lid, buffed up into the crease as well to give it more dimension. And then I will be putting some tacky primer before I apply the shimmer on. So let's put this down real fast. So I did do one eye off film to figure out what I really wanted to do. I know I wanted to play with the purple shades. Okay, so there is that all in the outer part of the eye. Now I'm going to get this Alamar Petal Primero Primer. This is a tacky primer and I really do enjoy it before I apply shimmers. But sometimes you don't even need a tacky primer for a shimmer. They just really stay on very nice. But I want this one to stay on for a good while. So I haven't noticed any creasing with this primer either. So it is a nice one for me. Okay, so that deep color stayed there. And it got all buffed up. So now I'm gonna go into this purple shifty shade called Tragedy. Tragedy is this one right here. So you can see it goes from like a gray to a purple. So it is very pretty. I like that shift it has in it. And that is gonna go over this tacky primer here that I just laid down. all over the front part of the lid. And this brush is just a dense brush. It has little unicorn print to it. It is a very cute little brush. But I've been enjoying it to really pack in the shimmers. All right, so there is that. All placed down. 
Now for my outer corner here where I put the purple, I'm going to deepen it up just a little bit with the black shade. And the black is called Death. So it is this one right in the middle. So I'm going to put that just a tad bit in the outer corner just to deepen it up. I'm not taking it into the crease much or anything like that. I just want to deepen up that little outer corner, the outer V, just like I did on this side. I don't know if y'all even saw that. I was blocking it probably, but I did just put it here on the outer parts. And this one is an AOA Studio E138. It is an angled brush. All right, so there is that. So now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go into dark and dagger. So I'm gonna go into these two purples, this dark purple and then the light purple, just to buff them out. And that's going in my lower lash line. So let me look. I just usually close my eye and I buff it out down there like that. It's just easier for me so that that is dark under there and now I'm gonna put dagger buff it out a little bit more now for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone I'm gonna use this little pencil brush this one is a Morphe V203 and I'm gonna go in with a shade called Morse it is this green shade up here in the top and that one is going to go right into my inner corner here and it is also going to get put up here on my brow bone right under my eyebrow All right, so I have already applied some black eyeliner and it was this Tristique black eyeliner. And this one works very nice. I haven't noticed any smudging in my lower lash line or anything whenever I do use it. So let me just clean up this outer part. Now I'm gonna go off film and apply some false lashes and some mascara. So I'll be right back. So this is a final look, and I did apply some lashes. These are the Alexis lashes from Shop Miss A. So there's the eyeshadow. And don't forget to see Miss Lori Latimer's look and the look she has created with this beautiful palette. So thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Check, check.